What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video. And today we have a window tinter, Amir from Show Car Quality. Hey Amir, where is your service, man? Well, I also service here in Glendale, Long Beach, San Pedro, anywhere on like LA, OC. Uh, are you a mobile window tinter? Yes, I'm mobile, but they also do drop offs here. There you guys go. If you need your window tinted needs, hit them up. Now, I had a quick question. Why do people need window tint? Oh, for the heat rejection, to block the heat, I mean, to keep it cold. Also protect your interior so people don't know, are not nosy. Mm. So we're in there and with leather seats, it helps to block the heat. But on the cloth seats, yeah. it, it, some of them, I never noticed, they change colors over time. Mm. The sun makes them fade away. Got it. So in this video, you're going to see his process because you're actually going to install window tent. Correct. The, yeah, yeah. Got it. You, you're also going to see his setup, his garage. So you're going to get a lot of free nanan knowledge. You ready, man? I'm ready. And we're also going to do removal. Well, from also, somebody that did it wrong in the shop. Oh, yeah. this customer right here, he got Correct. done dirty. He got done, done dirty. Tell us the story, man. What happened? Well, the customer came. They charged him for ceramic and it wasn't ceramic. Six months down the line and even a year all bubbled up really bad and the car is brand new as you can see it's 2023 now one thing i want to mention is that he paid a really affordable price like Correct. 200 250 yeah 200 and for a ceramic full car that shouldn't be for a two for a ceramic tent job. so you kind of get what you paid for Correct. Yeah. yeah. But the homie Amir right here, he's gonna fix it. All right, man, yeah. you ready to get started? Yeah, for sure, we're gonna start by prepping the front windshield. Got it. So Amir, when you say prepping, what is that exactly? So this here is um, Tentac with some water. And then I also use baby shampoo and a dryer sheet so the film could stick to it. So I could, uh, it will stick and I will cut it when I have to behind the dark matrix lines. But wait, I thought you put the tent inside the window. It does, but we have to prep the window, do the outside of the molding to install on the inside. Now, Amir, the customer is going to get 20%. Correct. He has the customer. He wants 20% on this car. So we're going to give him 20%. What do you recommend for new customers who don't know about window tent? 20% more or less? Well, it depends on your vision, to be honest. Some people see better than other ones at night. We have 20%. We have 15%, we have 70%, we have 50%, but we have 35%. But what I suggest is 35 to 50% is good. But I know people who want more privacy. And it's again, another thing too, it's illegal to do here in California, the whole front windshield. Mm. You only could get a visor on top, which is a little line, a little sunshade on top. And it's supposed to be four inches right here. God. But, you know, nobody, nobody really wants a little four. We'll always go under. But again, I tell people that it's illegal. And if they get caught, that's on them, no warranty on that. Only warranty on peeling, bubbling, or fading, or anything like that. All right, since we already laid down the film, this is 20%, whatever the customer wanted. I have to first do my H pattern here. So go tag. While I'm doing this, my wife here, she's gonna go inside here and prep the window. What I mean by prep, she's gonna sponge it. She's gonna squeegee it and make sure everything it's nice and clean, so when I'm done here, I'm shrinking this window, because I gotta shrink this paper to get to the molding of this front windshield, I'll go install it in there with ease. Now, Amir, somebody comes to you and says, hey, how long would it take to have my windows tinted? What do you tell them? Well, like I said, most customers, they're drop-offs. So like a day? No, not like a day. It depends what we're doing. Mm. Two front windshields, I could get them done in 45 to an hour. Clean and then install. But we're removing, takes more longer. We're talking about already like one hour and 45, depending because sometimes the adhesive is easy to remove. Sometimes the adhesive is hard to remove. So, you know, we gotta remove door panel sometimes or just pull it back, depending how. So it, it all depends on the on the customer vehicle, how it is. If it's an easier car, it's hard. All right, so as I already have my edge pattern done here to tack, so I, I need to shrink all these little fingers. All these fingers gotta get shrunk down, down or up. Have to be shown just up or down, you know what I mean? Not sideways. So they, so they can mold to the glass. What are you gonna be using to shrink the fingers? I'm using my glove and my card. And the heat gun? And my heat gun, yeah. So this right here, this is a special tape. I don't get burned, see? I don't get burned. Trust me, you get burned with that with that metal stuff. It happened a lot of times. You leave the machine in the back ever, you get burned. So this is a little extra you pay for, but it's worth the money. It's worth the money. You got it. So you see this here? Yup. So you need to know what you're doing right there. 
So one thing I don't get is, why do you guys shrink it? Because we need to mold it. We need to, to mold it. Because if we don't mold it, it's, we're going to have a lot of the fingers. It's not going to bond well to the, to the glass. Next question is, this customer, he started getting bubbles in the back of tins. Yes. And sometimes I be driving, bro, and I see a back of window full of bubbles. Yeah. How does that happen? It lost it in adhesive. It lost his glue, you know what I mean? Mm. It was a cheap film. So it's a cheap material they use. Yes. Yeah, you don't really get that with name brand. Some are even life warranty, the, the films. Some are life warranty. Some are five years. You know what I mean? Depends on your budget, to be honest. But it's like the saying says, you pay, you pay cheap, you get cheap. So look on this side, the fingers are done. So you see that? Yup, yup, you got them. We're done. So we're gonna keep continuing on the, on that side and, the, and on the upper side. So let's do this fingers too. All right, so now I'm done shrinking the whole window. Look at it. You see how it is now? It's curved right exactly to the front windshield, you know what I mean? God. So next step is to do some cutting, do some trimming. All right. So look, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you this this line right here. See this line here? Yeah. That's that's called the, the matrix line. The line I need to cut right there, right? So what I'm doing here now, I'm doing my final cut, which I gotta cut by the, the matrix, close enough but not that close, so I could tint it, so the tint could bond in the inside. See that? Got so it. So that's where she's lighting me up right now. Like look at the side right here. See the side here? Yeah. So you gotta cut it pretty close. Pretty close, but not that close. Cause you need a little bit off. So it could bond to the, that's in the inside. There we go again. So look right here, see? There we go. Got it. But, and look at this too. Without scratching the car. See that? You need to know your pressure. Without scratching the car, cause glass is easy to scratch. Got you'll, it. You'll scratch that car in a heartbeat. Look at the bottom right here. Just like 50 Cent said, I got that magic touch. <laughs> that's what's up Amir, that's what's up Yep. So my wife's gonna um, clean the inside Cleaning the, the final wipe down And spray it so I couldn't stop Meanwhile she does that, let me show you my setup So this is the mobile window tinting Mobile right here Yes, as you can see it has my logo Everything I do It's a 2019 So right here this is where we put some of our films Work of Reno, solar Our tin like I told you it has, and We also have walls, see these are walls that block, so we don't get no contaminations. We have our tank for when it's a dirty, dirty car. And so here's where we put our bottles. See, we have for window cleaning and tent install. Our bottles are labeled. And let me show you our, my garage. Second, we have two garages. I turned that garage into a shop. Like I was saying earlier, the Mercedes Benz, see, we detailed it, we detailed it, the inside. They greased it and everything, see? Cause they're gonna sell this car. So they didn't want the front windshield tinted cause it has a crack. And now we would have turned it also. So inside here, you see we have our glass, so we could peel the, our tent. We have our towels, things we need for detailing window tent. We also have that from Reno that shows you the ceramic and non-ceramic for the heat rejection. Sometimes so when I work in here, I got a custom air. Man, right here, see it? They put it on for us, the AC. Oh, this is one of the cars we also wrap in the colors. And we have our tools here, you know, to polish cars when we need to polish cars. We also polish cars and ceramic, and ceramic coat them too. We use R1 from Ceramic Pro. You gotta be certified. Five year warranty in that. And yeah, that's what we do in here. Now, for people that don't know, how long have you been doing this? Well, this is like I told you, this is just my side. Also, I've been doing the weekend. I've been doing this for seven years now. So originally Monday to Friday, I drive semis. I'm a truck, I'm a cassette driver. I own my own truck. But you know, word got around. I used to work in a shop and friends hit me up about some shops that has messed them up, charging too much, done them dirty, talking about warranty. There's no warranty, even with the receipt in hand. So, you know, so I started, I told my friend, a close friend of mine, hey, you pay for the roll, I'll do it and I'll keep the roll. So he did and then he got me his cousin. His cousin got me his friend. Friend, friend, and this and that, and then that's what you see my Instagram. It's like a lot of trucks I have. Why? Because the whole ports, I'm the one that's doing them. And then I also work with dealerships, some dealerships, some car lots. I go remove some tent and I add some tent. So I shouldn't be saying this, but there's some dealerships I work with, I'm not gonna say names. And I install tent for them. And then if you see on the little label inside, it says tent, they pay me a certain amount and they charge you guys more. 
So they charge so pretty, uh, some cars. Pretty much I touched them or someone else touched them. And we tinted for you guys. Well, we removed old tenant at new tent. So yeah. That's how it works, man. That's how it works, but you know, that's how they get you. You know? Now, let's say there's somebody out there who wants a tent. What's some advice you have for them to find the right tenter for them? They, oh, they want a tent? Yeah, they want a tent, but you know, there's a lot of shops. Correct. You don't know if you're gonna get good quality, good customer service, good material. What do you think they should do? Focus on the reviews? Ask for referrals? Well, nowadays, reviews are, are bought, let's be honest. I can make a review myself, what, 20 times, in different fake names. To be honest, you need to go to a shop and be like, hey, you know I me, mean? you guys have ceramic or non-ceramic. You wanna see the paper in the box. Most places it says ceramic. Some even says their logo, like 3M. They put it on, it says 3M. Also, when you install, they have to remove it. You know what I mean? Well, so 3M is good. 3M is good. Um, What's not a good one? Cheap ones are really not good. It's like, uh, personally, Walmart tent is not good. You know what I mean? Some people work with Lexan, some people say it's good, some people say it's bad, depending what, what kind of brand you're getting, you know what I mean? Some people, a lot of people are reboxers, you know what I mean? A lot of people are, are good. I was working one also from Lodi, where I went to school too. Good tent also, I bought from I bought from him. You know what I mean? He did really good. His boxes and everything, so it depends what you work for, but yeah. Got it. All right, man, so I did a little trick here of a trash bag method, because we have to remove this tent. As you can see, it's bubbly, but look. Wait, how do you remove the tent? What do you gotta use? Well, depends, you could use a steamer, you could use a bag like this that you have to cut it to the exact size of the windshield and then you have to put some glue remover or windex whatever let the heat steam it well he's the owner of this car he's seen how it was earlier that's why you see this like this we couldn't take it out so i had to put it out in the sun and let it get baked 30 minutes so i could remove it and then make sure you know this is the old film look at that purple and bubbly everywhere as you can see Oh, that's our bubbles, how it was before. You could see the bubbles and everything. And then what do you do in there? You get a scraper and uh, start scraping out the residue? So I have a sponge that it doesn't mix it up. And then sometimes you have, in some worst cases, you have to use plate. But I told the customers, 50-50, may not work, may work. But you could use steel wool, gotcha. the greaser, you know what I mean? Adhesive remover. There's a lot of ways to do it, but sometimes you have to get in the, with the blade. Like right now, I'm just gonna use the blade to try to remove this it should come out. So Amir, you clean the back window right now. What are you using? The baby shampoo, water, and some Tentac to take the other one, some degreasers, some adhesive remover. And that's your secret sauce right there? Yeah. And some more little spices I can say, you know? Hey, I heard the back windows were the hardest. Is that true? Yes, back windows are the, like the front windshield. Front windshield, like the back windshield. Got it, but look, man, you gotta lay down in the back, you gotta maneuver. Yeah, you need to be flexible, you know? You know what you're doing. Give a great tip, you know what I mean? So they refer you to more friends, customers. Alright, there you have it. How to install window tent step by step for you beginners out there. But Amir, what did you do today, man? So we did the Christmas front windshield. Mm -hmm. And also we removed the back window that it had bubbles and everything as you've seen. We installed the new one. That's hey. the side the same, but he didn't need the side. So we're good at that. Hey man, you made that look real easy, Amir. Seven Two. years, man. Seven years. There you go. Now, people want their windows tinted? Where can they go? Well, they can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I mostly reply to Instagram. There you go. Hit him up on Instagram at Show Car Quality at IG. There you go. All his information is going to be down below. And if you want to see more entrepreneurial content, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.